Hello. My name is Jim Olson. I'm a mathematics professor at Western Illinois University. This is the third of five videos on how to make online quizzes with the Hot Potatoes software. In this quiz, I will show you how to use graphics in a quiz. Here are the general steps for putting a graphic or graphics in a Hot Potatoes quiz. First of all, you start the exercise and save it as a .k .jqz file. So I'll go ahead and go over to jquiz and I already have a couple of questions in here and I'm starting the third one which is going to be find the area of the trapezoid and now I'm going to save this I can just use this icon here and this is now saved now I need to create a folder a subdirectory inside the math 206 folder this graphics folder only needs to be uh, you know, only need to create this once so I'm going to go over to Windows Explorer I'm going to navigate to the Math 206 folder and I can see that I already have my mental math quiz there and the web page now I'm going to make a new folder here called graphics now that I have created that folder um, I can go to step three which is creating the graphic there are a number of ways you can do this in Word or paint or geometry sketchpad I think what I'm going to do in the first demonstration is using the draw features inside of Word so I've started my parallelogram here and um, of course we know that you do not find the area by multiplying sides of a parallelogram we need to have the height shown in here so I'm going to insert um, the height here and I think I'd like to make this um, make this dotted so I'm going to format auto shape I'm going to make this dashed I think I might make it a little bit heavier weight and now I need to have a label on that so I'm going to insert a text box and I'm going to make that four centimeters I just change that font a little bit make it just a little bit bigger and now for this text box I really do not need the border or the fill so I'm going to right click on that text box format the text box and say that the color is no color and that the line is also no color and apply that or hit OK now I'm going to move this down into place here and so now I have the label on the height so now I'm going to get ready to capture all of this as one graphic I need to save this into my graphics folder eventually what I'm going to do is hold down shift and click all of the parts of this graphic and then while I'm still holding down shift I'm going to right click and copy that should copy all of it now what I'm going to do is go to the paint program so I click start programs accessories then paint then I'm going to hit edit paste and this pastes my graphic in here it looks pretty good I'm gonna go ahead and save this I'm gonna do a file save as 
I'm going to save this as a GIF file because it is just black and white. You need to make sure to put that in the graphics folder. So I'm going to go to Math 206 first. Then I'm going to go into the graphics folder. Then I'm going to type my file name. I'm going to call this parallelogram. It's going to automatically put .gif on there for me. This says there's going to be some loss of information because it's a GIF. If you have a lot of colors, you'll want to use um, uh, a JPEG. So I think I'm going to go ahead and close the paint program right now. So now I have saved the graphic in the graphics folder. Now I'm ready for step four. I return to the J quiz and I'm going to use insert insert image. So right here is where I want to have the image. So I'm going to go to insert picture picture from local file. There's also a uh, icon right here you can use. So I'm going to go to the graphics folder. Then I will select the parallelogram.gif file. And there is a preview here. I'll hit OK. And it puts the code here. Now I'm going to type in the answers and I think the uh, first answer is going to be the one that's correct this time. I want 44 centimeters. Actually I want square centimeters. So I need to get a little raised two here. Now there are uh, there is a possibility of getting a number of special characters. Let me show you how to do that now. You go to start programs Start Programs, Accessories, we used Paint, now we're going to come down to System Tools, Character Map. And this is a way to get any number of special characters. I'm just in regular Arial here. And for example, the division sign is down here if you'd like to use it. The plus or minus is here. The degree symbol. I want the raise 2. So I'm going to select that and copy it. I can go ahead and close this or keep it open. I think I'll close it. And I will click right here and paste. Now I'm going to pause the video and type in the rest of the answers and the corresponding feedback. Okay, now I've typed in all of my answers and I'm going to indicate which one is correct over here on the right hand side. I'm going to go ahead and save that. That saves the quiz file. And I'm going to go ahead and make it into a web page. I'm going to replace the existing web page. Yes, I want to replace it. And it gives me the option to view the exercise in the browser. So the browser boots up. We do get the air beep from the security software. I do have to tell it to allow the program to run. Here's my first mental math question. I'll get that right. Then I'll go to the second item. 14 times 15, that's 210. And I'll go to the third item. And we have our diagram showing up here. Find the area of the trapezoid. 4 centimeters times 11 centimeters is 44 square centimeters. It says, well done, your score is 100%. You have completed the exercise. Now I'm going to go back to jQuiz, and I'm going to put a fourth question in here with a different graphic that I'm going to create with, uh, in a little bit different way. For question four, I'm going to have them find the measure of an angle. Find the measure of angle 1. This time I'm going to make a graphic using a little bit different piece of software. 
this is my diagram I'm going to copy all that I'm going to jump over to paint paste that I don't think I need that quite so big so I think I'll move this up a little bit here and I'm going to save that and make sure to save it in the correct location right next to my quiz file I think I can make this one a GIF again as well I'll call this one sup angles or supplementary angles Then I'm going to return to jQuiz and bring in the picture, the image from a folder. And it looks like it's anticipated my needs correctly here. There's SUP angles, and I will open that. And here's my preview. I am a little bit concerned with the way this got chopped off. We'll see if that's going to be a problem later on. We'll hit OK and now I'm going to type in the various answers now that I've typed in the answers I need to indicate which one is correct this time the correct answer is going to be none of the above so I need to save that I need to make it into a web page yes I want to replace it and I will view the exercise in the browser I think I'll go ahead and skip ahead here there's question number three and question number four is showing up pretty well here let me go ahead and get that right correct angle one is 127 degrees so that looks like that's working pretty well now I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can make this just a little bit smaller and see what happens here and show you how easy that is to do so I'm going to turn it return to jQuiz I think I'm going to take this out and put it in here and I'm going to change the, change the size here the width right now is 584 I'm going to drop that down to 350 and since I have maintain aspect ratio checked the height is automatically changed for me that's nice so I'll hit OK then I'll hit save make a web page I'll view it in the browser and I see that I do have a smaller graphic So, these are the five steps for putting a graphic into a hot potatoes quiz. In this video, we learned how to make a quiz with graphics. In the next video, I will show you how to look at the online tutorials, some support options, and the configuration window.